souls. A great, great win. Wow. Big time. Uh, very happy for our, for our players, uh, our coaches. Uh, everybody has been involved in the program and, and, and the help that they, they've given us. I'm happy for our fans. Um, something they've been waiting on a long time. It was a good game. You know, I thought it was one of our best games that we played. We went out and um, pretty much took care of business in all phases of the game. And, and we needed to, to be able to do that against a very talented Temple football team. But, uh, great win. Uh, happy for everyone. Was this what you envisioned at the beginning? Uh, yeah. Uh, went in and uh, going bowling and, and doing all those things. You know, uh, that's something. Wanted from the beginning, but our goals from the beginning was when I came here. I said my goal, my vision for this football program is to win multiple champ championships in the first class manner. And uh, we're not there yet, but we're, we're climbing. You know, we say climbing is easier than hanging on. And our guys are climbing in the right direction. And, um, this is what we want. You know, this is what we thought it can be here. And, and again, it's just only the beginning. What do you think about the fans storming the field? That's not something you see get to see in a coaching career. Sometimes. Yeah, that was, again, that, that just showed you that it, it's been a long time coming, you know, and they showed you their appreciation, you know, and uh, uh, you like to get to where you're winning a lot to where they're not doing it all the time, and you like for them to do that when you win a championship, you know, but you appreciate it, you know why it's that way, and uh, again, they've been waiting a long time too. This is something they've been wanting. I thought our student session was outstanding, you know, and, and when that student session is like that, it, it gives us so much energy, uh, to be honest, which I think it gives us a touchdown advantage on anybody we play. But that was that was great. Uh, it was great. Everyone that showed up, and I challenge everybody next week to bring a friend with them. Watch how it happened, then. Watch what happened, then. Come on, y'all gotta help. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on now. <laughs> you had go ahead. Jim. The sequence where you had four possessions and four touchdowns, it was like a thirty-one ten lead. Everything clicked. Uh, is that about as nicely executed as you've seen this program or any program in a long time? Yeah, um, I think when, when you see our offense, when we go fast, you know, when we go fast, uh, those things happen for us. We tend to score quickly, and, uh, have a lot more explosive plays, and, and that's what happened for us during the uh, first half. I think we only had 25 plays in the first half. Uh, it was a big time hill for us, too. But I think going fast really helped. Most plays and, and, and then execution. You know, we, we executed. You know, we finally connected on that deep ball. It was great to see. I told you guys we learned from our mistakes. <laughs> that, was, that was great to see. Yeah, Marlon was saying they were doing a lot of blitzing on the outside, which gave y'all success up the middle. Was that something y'all saw them take? Well, no, I think um, that came in the game. I mean, they blitzed. We saw the blitz. They did it um, a lot um, in, in other games. But uh, I thought our old line did a great job of blocking. Especially when they did blitz. Usually when they blitz, they have a D lineman so across the line and face. And I thought our guy did a great job of not allowing them to cross their face so the backs can get up through the hole. And so that by them blitzing outside, as long as we can keep those guys from getting across our face, the back have a crease. And I thought Marlon did a great job of um, helping set up those blocks and then exploding through it once he, once he saw the hole. You're in a position now that, you know, you're attending to the conference. Need some help. I mean, what do you think that's going to be like having to win and then watch watch other games? We ain't watching anybody. You know, we're all worried about the Bulls. You know, we got to take care of us. You know, we'll take care of us. None of that other stuff matters. You know, so we're not watching anybody but Cincinnati now. You know, we'll take a peep at this field tomorrow, but uh, we're going to move on to Cincinnati. We're going to move on to humble, humble hearts. You, uh, your defense stood firm when they got in the red zone, forced them into field goals. You know, kept them out of the end zone. That was huge, right? That was big. You know, you think about it. We come out of halftime, and we're, we're talking to our guys about coming out, and we're going to stay aggressive, and we'll get out there, and then we get the ball to bowl, you know, down on our side of the field. And, and again, we could have easily just gave in, but our guys didn't. You know, we held them to a field goal. And, um, I thought that was big for our football team. You know, just, just watching our guys, you, you see when that burst me, strikes our football team. Now our guy responds in a positive manner. You know, to me that's a sign of a team that's, that's confident and a team that's maturing. You know, 
I think that's what we see out of our guys. What's the status of DeAndre Sinan? I know he didn't play tonight for an injury. What happened there? Yeah, he uh, bumped his knee. He got a little tweak his knee. Um, I want to say on Tuesday in practice. You know, so uh, ran around and yesterday and still wasn't where he needed to be. So we decided to keep him out. Looked like Rodney shook up his right leg there again. How do you think he is? Oh, he'll be fine. He was smiling and happy out the road. He'll be fine. Could you express? What you, what you saw, what you felt out there, particularly for your seniors, getting to celebrate with the students and have a, a game and a moment like they had tonight. Uh, those are the guys that you really, I mean, you're excited for everyone, but think about a senior that um, has been here through all the struggle. You know, and you want to be most of those guys. You know, we talked about it as a football team, let's, let's do it for our seniors. And that was at the beginning of the year. Let's do it for our seniors and, and we asked our seniors to lead. You know, let's lead for the young guys. And you're happy for them because they've been through a lot. They've been through different coaches, a lot of loss. Uh, they've been through a lot. And, and to now have themselves in, in a bowl eligible, it's, it's great. That's what all those kids envisioned when they came here, to, to go bowl and to win games. Uh, and now they get to leave here on a good note, knowing that they helped change the foundation of what we're trying to build here. You know, and, and they can leave here feeling good about themselves and you know, talk to their kids one day about turn the USL football program back around again. You're going to get a lot of traction from this game. A lot of people are reacting to it, calling it one of the better in-season turnarounds they've seen. You were one and three. We were. You were back in the day. Oh, that was so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, you're, now you're six and four, full, full eligible conference contender. What's happened to, to make this occur? Just getting better. We're getting 1% better. You know, it's been our game. Get 1% better. You just, so we always talk about each and every week is getting better and focus on the things that we can control. And that's our attitude and our work ethic. And I got done a great job with that. And, and that's why we're in the position that we're in now, is that we, we stuck together and uh, control the things that we can. And I remember telling you guys back after the Maryland game that we're going to have a good football team here. You know, and, and our guys starting to show that. You know, that they can be a really good football team. They beat a really good football team tonight. Beat them. Hey, y'all have a great night. <laughs> 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 <laughs>